just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. So that was definitely interesting. Um, so we talked a few things while the trailer was going about the uh, CGI on that versus the Lion King's one. No, oh, and here comes your friend. Harold, get out of here. <laughs> Harold, yeah. all right, you got to be on the stream, Harold. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh. He's like, I don't want to be up here for you. Hey, buds. Oh, sorry. This sorry. is Harold. He's an unofficial member. of. Oh, uh, you can't see him, but he's, he's down here. Here, I'll pick him up slightly. He doesn't like to be picked up. Oh, there he is. There's Harold. <laughs> he's Axel today. All right, you go back down, Harold. He's like, finally... You could, yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go back downstairs. No, get back. off that. That ain't, no. Oh, you. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're not supposed to eat pizza. Well, there he goes. Oh, well. He's pizza gone. eating dog. He's gone. He's gone. But Anyways. Dumbo, yeah, the Dumbo graphics were definitely um, not as sharp as. That's not that bad, though. They're not bad. They're just not as sharp as but the. Like you uh, said, yeah, the, if the Lion King wasn't on top, you know in tip top shape then it would just it would take me out of the story and I wouldn't want to really watch yeah, it yeah and like and we also discussed like the reason Dumbo might not have the highest level is it's not all about the animals and yeah. then we also have the people in there to work so like mingling semi live action with real live action is always gonna have like a little bit of disassociation uh alright Leo says what's up hey <laughs> what's up Leo how's it going bro we're just talking here about Lion King and all the new Disney stuff coming out soon. That's just crazy that they have Aladdin, Dumbo, Lion, Lion King, King, and then that's not Toy including... Story. Okay, Toy Story. And then that's not including Marvel stuff. Yeah, I didn't even it's think about the fact Captain that they own Marvel. all that. Yeah. Avengers, Avengers 4. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing them. I know uh, there's... An, I want to see... Is Spider-Man coming out next year? I don't know. It should yeah, probably I be. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Disney releases... 2019. See what we got on the list for this year. Oh, including Star Wars too. Didn't think about that. Is oh, that sh- next year? Uh, I think it is. I think it will be. Okay, yeah, and that's the problem that they point out in this article is Disney's an absolute powerhouse, which includes things like Pixar, Marvel, and Lucas Films, including all of their franchises. Um. So, like, they are also, they just released Wrecked Ralph. Yeah, I watched that. This How uh, was it? It was good. It was weird. No, that was not weird. There was just scenes where it was like, wow, hmm. That, was, that was not questionable. question, but it was just like, hmm. It's just a weird scene. Interesting. <laughs> That's huh? it. That's all I had to say about it. Like, oh, fuck. Like, Mary Poppins. Oh, Mary Poppins. Poppins. Oh, that's December. this year, though. Yeah, yeah. that's December. Though. Then you get Captain Marvel, then Dumbo, then Avengers 4, then so, Aladdin. Yeah, I thought so, yeah, there is no Star Wars this year. Yep. They're skipping. Nope, not this year, but then, yeah. It's Toy Story 4, The Lion King, Artemis Fowl, which I don't even know. Frozen 2. Oh, yeah, there was speculation about that coming yep. out. And they'll be back to ser- Serenade Us November 27th, 2019. Star Wars Episode 9 next year. Oh, is it? Well, Leo's saying it's not next year. Is it not? This year. No Star Wars this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 2019. Yeah, yeah sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I meant to say next year. And it's year actually Star Wars. Uh, t- December 20th, 2019. So we're like oh, a so they're going year back out. to yeah. the December release time, I think. Instead yeah. of the May. <laughs> they were competing randomly with. Randomly did. Yeah, they were competing with. Solo. Which so made no point. Which is weird because I was like, why did they do that? Yeah, like, it didn't make any sense. It was competing around a lot of stuff. Unless they wanted Mary uh, Poppins And then to be after, after that, they have. Granted, this one's like not oh, Mulan, 2010. But yeah, Mulan's supposed 2020. to be 2020. Yeah. But still, when you look at that list, and that's just confirmed movies for now, uh, and those are basically just their major movies. That's a ton Maleficent of movies. Maleficent too. Yep, I thought I just forgot about that. Yep. Oh, what's Leo saying? <laughs> Artemis Fowl, boo, boo this man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, seriously though, no, but it happens, and I'm, I'm actually really wondering what they're gonna do for Toy Story 4 you know what I mean cause the last Toy Story I felt like they left it on such a good 
ending. Ending, that was it? Yeah, like where it's like, all right, Andy's going to college. And, it's and, the, even and the toys go to the little girl. Because well, what's his name? John Laos. Like, was, oh, no. no, the guy who created Toy Story. Oh, yeah. Remember, yeah. he actually just got um, sexual assault ch- yeah. charges and he left the company. And that... I think he was the one that finished Toy Story 3, you know, wrote yeah. all the story. He did all three trilogies, and, yeah, this, this is just a whole brand new kind yeah, of Yeah, it's is it the start of a new, like, like yeah, thing. which, and don't get me wrong, you could totally do it, you got the new kid. I guess, like, they kind of left it on the note where they could You could, but it felt like one. such a good ending, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, what do you think, Leo? Did you think that the ending for Toy Story that came out, Toy Story 3, was pretty good? I don't know. I felt like there was such a time between those movies, too, that's usually not between popular movies like that. Like, there was time between Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2, and then Three Toy Story 2. Three came out a while back, too, now I think Yeah, it's it. been a bit. It, like, all right, I'm going to check. I'm going to check these dates. I want to say 2010. Yep. So, <laughs> Toy Story 3, 2010. Ooh, so, that's it's, it's been eight <laughs> years since that. And then... Two, Toy Story 2 was 1999. Yeah, that's... Because that was the uh, Pixar's first ever movie. And, like, that kind of... Um, oh, wait, that what? kind of animation style, you know? Yeah. And the original... What? Can I... See, that doesn't seem right. I think that's messed up. But maybe not. John Lasseter. Yeah, that's, that's the guy. That's the guy that the sexual assaults on him. Can yeah, I he, he literally just quit. Like, his, uh... Or, I think he just went on vacation. I don't know. He, he left. left, yeah. He was like, I'm done. I can't remember what the, yeah, so... I mean, you know... It's kind of sucks, because, you know, like, he wrote all these, like, really good... Children's stories. Stories, yeah. this is like, well, damn. That sucks. <laughs> it does. It's like, okay. And there's nothing you can really do about it, you know what I mean? It's like, well, that's between him and the studio... But that was Leo saying. I'm trying. Oh, it's the same thing. Just yep, it's the same. I'm trying to figure out when the original. 95. What, Toy Story? The original Toy okay, Story. So the original Toy sense. Story is 95. Then four years later, you get two in 99. Then 11 years later, you get three yeah, in 2010. Yeah, three. three yeah, even. three was a long time. But even between 95 and 99, that's four years. And granted, movies used to take longer back then, right? Like a couple years, mm-hmm. not a couple months. But it's still four years. That's a huge amount of production time between a, mo- a hit movie like Toy Story and its sequel. Like, in contrast, uh, I mean, even in contrast, let's look at something similar like, uh, well, what else was a good childhood tale thing around that time where there was multiple movies? Ants? So now there weren't multiple movies. No, they didn't do that. <laughs> that was. I'm trying to think of ones where they're like that. Mm, the only one I can think of is Cars, but Cars was until later in the... Yeah, later thousands. in their thing, and they're... Yeah. That's about it, really. I mean, there's other stuff, but... Maybe the, there is, I just can't I just think can't of think of them, yeah. I know there's other things that... Because Toy Story was good, but it wasn't so unique in that it, there was nothing else out there like it. It was just a really good, unique concept. Mm-hmm. And then they had all those other unique concepts of that same drawing story or whatever, like Wally and... I forgot, they made like four or five different like hit. Yeah, Finding Nemo. Yep, Finding Nemo. What was their next one after Toy Story? Yeah. Well, there was a couple though. There's like Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Wally, and another one, or another two were all Bugs Life. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were all made by those original Pixar heads. Actually, like it was probably Toy Story came out first. Yep. And then Bugs Life. Oh, yeah. And then. Uh, I think it's probably that. Yeah, because Bugs Life's like, what, 2000? I want to say 1999. That would be the same year as Toy Story. It would be pretty close. They might have, though. Cause they've, like I said, the, the, they've changed stuff a lot. And my internet doesn't want to work very well today. <laughs> well, well I... But yeah. So, but... I mean, yeah, I mean. Uh, oh, we didn't actually answer one of Leo's questions. He said. Uh... What's your favorite? I think he said, "What's your favorite casting from Dumbo?" From Dumbo, honestly, I did, I wasn't really pushed out by any of them. Danny DeVito as the ringleader is I'm pretty interesting. I'm just kind of curious, yeah, how he's gonna play a ringleader. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's what gets me is in the original Dumbo, and that's where it's gonna change, right? Dumbo is gonna be like what we talked about earlier about how they change the story because they're already adding in these kids and these things. Mm-hmm. That's just not in Dumbo, bro. I remember Dumbo. Dumbo was about animals. 
It was about Dumbo, the crows, and Dumbo's mom. I wonder if they'll have the crows. You think they'll do the crows? I think they will. They'll just make them less racist. Oh, yeah, they're very They racist. gotta make them less they're racist. They're very racist crows. When that movie was like 1960-something, probably? I swear it's gotta be. No, it's older. Yeah, it might be, yeah, 1950s. Yeah, it's like... 19, Let's see. I want to say um, 1940s. Dumbo release... Not the new one. <laughs> Not the new one. <laughs> Nineteen forty-one. Woo! I'm just on the money today, Alejandro. Yeah, he's getting them all. <laughs> well, oh wait, like, let's check that one. Ha! We were both wrong. Bugs Life is before Toy Story. Oh. Oh no, no it's not actually. It's before no, Toy Story Two, but it's ninety-eight. See, oh, see, but that was close because I said close. 99. Yep. I said, oh, let's see, now it comes up on my phone. I hate that. It's like I spent like five <laughs> minutes waiting for the phone to answer me. I'm like, all right, I'm going to just well, move to the computer. Yeah, see, so, I mean, yeah, the crow scene, that would be cool if they still did the crows. But we'll I mean, see. the crows were a big part of it, so I don't know how they're going to. We'll I don't know. They've changed a lot of it already, though, so it's going to be. Which is fine. That really doesn't bother me. That means yeah. It has to. It, like it, I said, I like things to be their own story, and that kind of like really just be a total rip off of their like, the original movie. Right. It's cool that they take some scenes and like add it into the new one, but like I don't want it to be like a the whole movie scene for scene for scene the whole right. way through. That's I don't know. It's, it's kind of boring. Well, you just don't have anything new. Yeah. Well, except for the fact that it's in the new format. Yeah. So if they keep, like, the cool, like, maybe the favorite scene, which they everything kind of looks like they've done so far. Yeah, the jump. They kept a couple. They got the clown makeup scene the, where he joins the clowns. The balloon, or not the balloons, the bu- bubble scene with the elephants. Yep. Yep, the bubbles and the elephants. But we'll that just always used to scare me as a kid, that scene. Oh, yeah? I never liked that scene. That was always my least favorite scene. That's why I never liked Dumbo. Oh yeah, I think because I just can that that if you watch that scene again, you're like that's a little much for a kid I to mean, be watching. I mean, compared to some of the old stuff, all of it's a little rough. All those old. Like, no, there's a, there's 60s. a lot of things, yeah, that like they know, have like a lot more I can't rough. I watched that. Because like I remember being a kid, I remember this. That's. Or even what's like it? I think the little. The, do you remember the brave little toaster? The oh yeah, there was the, the clown. The, the very first one that starts the movie. There's a scene with the clown. The very. F- Creepy ass. I'm not scared of clowns. <laughs> yeah, I'm not scared of clowns, but that, <laughs> but crown, that clown please. was creepy as well. But I think I think the little toaster is actually a really big, good example of like where they would try to make it scary though. Like there was a couple a other it. scenes besides that one too. Yeah, where like they're where like when they have the trash compactor, they try yeah. to make it seem like a monster. Granted, you know, in their world narrative, it is or whatever. But I think that was the thing is it was like pers- humanizing and emotionizing things for like those. uh Non everyday objects. That was another good series like that, but the shit little toasters. What the eighties, nineties, or no, that was nineties. It's hard to tell because animation didn't take very many steps from the forties to the nineties. No, it was always drawn, hand yeah. drawn until literally the nineties came, and then yep. that's when. I, as I, there was Toy Story that set it off. Was the yeah that the digital yeah so. They've they've been there's other people who pioneered stuff too. It was too because with like, of computer technology that oh, yeah. has gone so advanced at that point because of CGI and they're like, well, hey, we could do the same thing in animation work with the CGI and yep. So yeah, and animation comes to life. I think you know who who uh, you know it's funny. I think with they started from Lucas Arts or Lucas Films or whatever. I can't remember exactly the name. Yeah, the the <laughs> different ones. Uh, um, and, I don't they, know and those those workers who were working there with CGI sprouted off into their own company and they became Pixar. That's interesting. There's a whole documentary on it. I forgot what it's called though. But yeah, they started with Lucas Arts or something like that. Cause they're the first guys to start um, CGI work with uh, Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, yeah. And again, Lucas and Spielberg were always on the cutting edge of new stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they even back in like land of the land before actually that's one of the original ones who use it is the land before time. That was the eighties for sure right there land before time. Yeah, what is that eighty nine? Mm, yeah, I want to say late eighties. Let's see. It is eighty nine. Oh wait, is that eighty eight or eighty? I can't tell. That is really hard to see. <laughs> it is eighty eight. Okay. Eighty eight. So. 
Yep, by Don Bluth, the same guy we used, we talked about the other week, who do, who's known for doing the dark uh, animated yeah. series, like yeah, Secret of Nim and mm-hmm. all those. Because yep. we had a little discussion about him a couple weeks back, or maybe a couple months back. And I forgot that he, yeah, that's like one of his first like really big projects, actually. Like the other ones were good, but they weren't like a big project hit mm-hmm. like The Land Before Time was. I mean, The Land Before Time still has. And then they made all those knockoffs. I mean, they have tons <laughs> of them. Some of them yeah. were good, but then like I mean, after the f- fifth, maybe. <laughs> after the fifth or sixth <laughs> one. I, like, I don't even know which one. Bro, they made so many. They like, did. They're still making so many. I told you, they still make them. Like, it's <laughs> one of those things. It's kind of like Veggie ta- Fables or whatever. Like, we all remember them, and we think we, we feel like they died, but they didn't. They just, they're not for us anymore, <laughs> so we don't watch them anymore. Because <laughs> I remember, like, being a kid, you know, coming <clears throat> up on the Land Before Time, and then Land Before Time 2, and 3. And then you got to, like, this one Land Before Time where there's, like, a fish. And yeah. And like, trying to be like, friends with a fish, and he can't even talk. Yeah. And you're just like... The fucking fish. <laughs> and he don't talk. How do you know what he's saying? What are we doing here? Where are we even? How did we get out of this crater? That was supposed to be like the last crater on Earth with fucking food thought, in didn't, it. Didn't did we move? Like, didn't yeah. in the first movie we, we made moved. it to the first homeland and now we moved in the second one and then we moved to the homeland in the third one? I was just like, how many... I thought the world was all fucked up but we are actually just can't keep a spot. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was great though. Like, Because no, the original one is really good. No, and even a couple like, others. Yeah, you, can't, you can never beat the original. No. The others... Well, they the thing just is got the, more colorful. They got less dark. They got less dark and more colorful yeah. throughout. Alright, so let's... I want to do a check on something. So let's say we've got this one, right? Um... I want to see if they have. They gotta have it somewhere. But Land Before Time franchise, because I almost guarantee you, Bluth didn't have anything to do with any of them except for the first one. Oh yeah. Because I remember the rest of them being very yeah, the rest of them being not as dark. Because even the shading, the toning, the story yeah, of that, and it different. makes it really, it makes it impactful, it makes it memorable, and it makes it really good all mm. around. Sorry, I'm check comics, comments, nothing. But then we go to Roy Allen Smith, and this is that there's actually a whole different list. So, like, one of the biggest things is the entire from one past, and that's why one's different, is one was made by Lucas, Bluth, and Spielberg. Mm-hmm. It's not a cartoon, that is a movie. Yeah. It's animated, but that is a movie. That is not, it's not pre contexted by that, you know what I mean? It, it might as well just be a regular it's not a kid's story it's just a story in animated form mm-hmm. like that's the, it's hard to explain it like that but it really is because it's definitely as much as we might say this or that it's not for kids you get to see plenty of death uh, violence you know you get to see uh, Littlefoot's mother is like killed by the Tyrannosaurus in like the first scene that's like yeah. the opening scene is them fighting and the mother dying and then the rest of this fucking story is literally these kids basically being chased by a monster. And so, like, it's one of those things where, like, if you really thought about that in context and, like, changed all that from dinosaurs to, like, anything else, like children and things, it would no longer be a kid's story. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, even The Lion King is somewhat similar to that. It's like a darker time where the stories were not so candy-coated and sugar-coated like they are now. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Because then, like you said, after you leave that, we get to Roy Allen Smith, and I gotta double check. Yeah. Leapfrog Learning Videos, Mosaic, Muppet Babies. <laughs> he's done a little bit of Family Guy in the 90s. Uh, but he's mostly for kids. He does stuff for kids. Which is fine. That, you know, it was a kid series after that. It caught, you know, the animation style made parents immediately drop it towards kids. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's why we see. And then once, and this is, I think, yep, this is where it changes. Charles Grossvorner, and then we get the little baby T Rex. That one was actually not bad. I remember the little baby T Rex. That was cool. But after that, I think is when we get the fish one. No, Saurus no. Rock. They're, but they start getting sillier after this. It's, Before, f- it's not till probably like the tenth movie that they get I, that one. No, I swear that there it is. Journey to Big Water. It's nine, but it's still two thousand two. That's where I stopped. And that's like near the middle of Grossner's... Of 2002? That's where I stopped. <laughs> yep. And I remember watching some of these other ones. They actually weren't that great either. 
Um, the Big Freeze was okay, but I remember this one, The Stone of Cold Fire and The Secret of Source Rock. I think I've seen all of them because I was a huge dinosaur. Oh, I, I loved I've seen them all for sure. Oh, like, yeah, I remember this one where they find another little foot. It was a sister or something. It, it's something like that, but it's that's the point. It's, it's like another it, little it was, foot. I can't remember. It's a female Anyways. little foot. That's the point. Time of the Great Giving. So, like, these first four or five are actually pretty decent, all the way up to Roy Allen Smith. I enjoyed them. And then these ones are okay, but not that great. And then Journey to Big Water is probably the last one I ever watched. But the most recent one is Journey of the Brave, and it's 2016. Oh, God, look at the animation style for it, though. Yeah, it's different. It's so different when you compare it to the original. Mm hmm fucking art like damn that's cinematic you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm biased but i'm a little uh finding those ones now i want to go watch mm, dress not dress park the land before time again it's been so damn long yeah we watched it last year i showed my son that one nice we get to watch a lot of old school movies you remember remember a movie called um little nemo <laughs> little nemo no, I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, evil bastards. <laughs> Just, uh, we're we're a handful though. Um, you said today you had to head out pretty early, right? Yeah. 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 What time is it? Uh, it's about we're seven ish. Is yeah. Seven ish. Yeah, it's about seven ish. What I was thinking is we talk maybe a little bit more and then. Um, oh yeah, we got time. Yeah. So. Talk a little bit more. You want to talk about? Um. Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, do you think next year is better than this year has been with movies? Because I thought this year was crazy with movies. I thought it was pretty good. The thing is, I have to see even... more of, like, the next year's things. Because, like, all right, we talked about Disney, but there's so much more than Disney coming out. And that's got to compile to it. I think John Wick 3 comes out next year, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's there's so much. Like, I'm so excited for John Wick 3 <laughs> on horseback. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's on a horse. horse. Yeah, for filming. Did you see the fan art for him because he's supposed to be in Toy Story. He's oh no, I do. There's a there's a fan art of him being like a little um, being like a little toy, right? But he's like John Wick style, and it's just showing his back and it's slinky, all dismembered, and <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all messed up. Yeah, That's I guess the only reason why they did that is just because yeah, he's voicing his uh once one toy, you know, in the actual Toy Story Four. So we'll hear Keanu Reeves in there. Oh, that's great! And it's always funny to hear Keanu. Yeah. Some, well, he'll he'll do what toy he'll be. That's cool. That'd be funny if he really yeah. was like a John Wick kind of character. Yeah, it's just like a fucking <laughs> or assassin like a, toy or, or like something. a Matrix kind of looking character. Or just something. have him be the hitman toy. That'd be funny, right? Or some shit like that. But yeah, I think we've basically covered all the bases, so uh, we're going to let the last like 10 or 15 minutes cycle through our artist spotlight gallery, since we haven't done one in a couple no, weeks. Oh, yeah, works. Yep. And uh, yeah, well, thanks a lot, guys. You know, we really appreciate you coming through, if you did, to see and hear us talk about this stuff. And obviously, we'd also appreciate your input. You can catch us on the Discord, which is listed under the channel links. But uh, yeah, me and Izzy will be back next week, next Sunday, to figure out uh, what the heck to talk about. Because, man, oh, there's man. always something. I mean, we keep talking about it. It still ain't here. So this is next week already? Is well, it? Then next week. The week? Yeah, that's what I'm like. I'm so, it's gonna be man. Like two, we've had two of them already because like I thought they weeks. had November and then they moved it to December. and then They moved it to December? I thought it was already. It was originally November. I but it was, it was always it, marked for December. I, I swear it was originally November. Maybe I was confusing something else. What else was supposed it, to come I out I feel like in two weeks it'll be out. Because it's It'll in be... the first week of December. Is it? I thought it was, they I switched. Say it's all right, the first week I'm gonna of check. December. Let's see. You've been on all night. Let's see if we can finish it on. Twenty first. Oh. I think there's a free, not a free. There's a pre screening for Amazon Prime members though. Yeah, there that is. goes on like two I, weeks. I wanted to see if I just. Do I was that. thinking about going. But to then do that. I was like, damn, I can't do that because then I pay free anyways when I do my AMC tickets. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm, eh, what? Whatever. Anyways, yeah. we'll show these uh, nice artist artisty stuffs. So we hope you guys enjoy them and check us out next week. Bitch, I swear my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, just a